Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Welcome back. Um, it is, what is it, May 28th? Yeah. Wow, May 28th, 2020. Again, I can't believe May is almost gone. It's so insane. I can't believe it's almost June. Although the weather this week has helped me accept it. It has been hot this week. Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's get started. Um, let's take out our breathing tool and let's calm ourselves and check in by taking three big deep breaths and saying the tagline I call myself and check in. Take out your measuring tape and go ahead and take three deep breaths with me now. Last one. All right, guys, good job. All right, so um, let's do our feelings check-in. I'm really gonna try today to make this video no more than 15 minutes because I have not done well the last two days. <laughs> Anyways, um, here's how I'm feeling today. I've got a couple of different feelings. I woke up with my usual, like, totally exhausted feeling. It's been a really long week, and I have two more really long days, including today. And so my first initial feeling this morning was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But I, I turned it around a little bit, and instead, I'm choosing to have this feeling. Um, and this feeling is actually hopeful. I like, I like reminding myself when I'm tired or I'm stressed out. I like trying to challenge myself instead to feel hopeful and um, rather than kind of going over all the negative like hard things that are going on, I will tell myself, you know what, I know today's going to be hard, but I'm really hopeful that it's going to go well and I'm really excited to think about, you know, at this time I'm going to be done with all of it. <laughs> um, you know, by like four o'clock today, I'm going to feel like a totally different person, actually more like by four o'clock tomorrow. But um, I feel really hopeful that although my day, my next couple of days feel really big and overwhelming, that they're going to go really well. Um, and then another feeling that I'm having is this one. You guys know it. It's happy. Yesterday was so nice. I felt so incredibly loved yesterday from our PTA Staff Appreciation Day. Um, and I just want to say you guys, thank you so much. It really like just lifted my spirits more than you'll know. So thank you so, so much. Um, so I heard from quite a few of you. There were a couple of you guys who actually did a mindfulness scavenger hunt. I had so much fun with Rory doing it. Um, especially when we got to that point of, um, of uh, the smelling and he walked by our dog's poop and said, mom, I can smell Kobe's poop. And I was like, oh, lovely. Um, but before I get into what we're gonna do today, you guys already know I wanna know how you're feeling. So let's take this time to turn and talk with our family members, tell them how we're feeling, name it to tame it. Um, or if you're by yourself, write it in your journal or send me an email. Go ahead and press pause and do that now. Good job, you guys. Um, so I think that you guys did a really great job working on your Quiet Safe Place tool this week. Um, I, for Thoughtful Thursday, again, I have just been, I've been hearing and I've been feeling a lot of overwhelmed feelings from some of you incredible students. And so what I wanted to do to, um, I guess just be mindful and, um, to help is maybe just to be thoughtful about what we do when we are feeling overwhelmed or when we have feelings like anxiety. Because I actually think a lot of the feelings that are happening right now are anxiety. And we're not naming it that way because it's anger or it's sadness. It's so many things. We're feeling loss of not having the end of the school year. But I think that in the end, so much of it is I'm worried I'm going to be held back. I'm worried I'm not learning enough. I'm worried that we're not going to start in the fall. I'm worried that I'm not seeing my friends. Maybe they want, won't want to be my friends anymore. And all of this is anxiety. Um, and so I actually have a book that I love. And it's called A Little Spot of Anxiety. 
and um, it's a story about calming your worries. And it's a really sweet book, but what I like about this book is it has a great little tool in it um, to help bring out your inner peace, which is what we've been talking about all week. We've been talking about finding that peaceful, quiet, safe place inside of us and finding that peacefulness within you. And so this is going to really support the tool that we've learned, but also help us be really thoughtful of how we can control it. And again, we can name it and we can tame it. So let's read this book together, shall we? It's called A Little Spot of Anxiety. I know I've been having some spots of anxiety myself. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot. And this gray spot is an anxiety spot. What is an anxiety spot? He looks worried. Your anxiety spot can show up when you're feeling worried, nervous, anxious, or scared. Anxiety is one of the many emotions we experience every day. Other emotions are sadness and anger too. We all have these emotions inside of us, but we feel the best when we are in our peaceful spot. Otherwise known as our quiet safe place. Your anxiety spot makes you worry a lot. Sorry, it's kind of a hard book to hold up straight. There we go. Your anxiety spot makes you worry a lot, especially when you try new things. Remember when you first tried playing soccer? What if I'm bad at this? Let's see, see if this little anxious spot. Or when you had to take a test? What if I fail? Every time your anxiety asks you, what if, remember you can always answer with, I can do this. That will help you change your anxiety spot to a peaceful spot, like me. It's okay to have, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> It's okay to have small anxiety spots because sometimes worrying protects you. But when your worries become too big or too many, it doesn't feel very good and it can make you miss out on things that are fun and good for you. Sometimes when your anxiety begins to grow, it can cause a tummy ache or it can make you start to sweat. This is your body telling you that you need to manage your anxiety spot quickly. Did you know there are things that you can do to keep your anxiety spot from becoming too big? Like making sure you're eating healthy and making sure you're getting plenty of rest. This will give your body enough energy to help prevent your anxiety spot from showing up. Music, drawing, and writing can help you express your worries through art instead of letting your anxiety spot grow. Sometimes you end up in a situation where your anxiety spot surprises you and it can start growing really fast. But before you panic, I wanna show you how, a quickly, how to quickly shrink your anxiety spot. Okay, look at your hand. Now imagine you have five gray spots. Actually, I just read that wrong. Now imagine five gray spots are on your fingers and one green spot is on your hand, just like this. Now with your pointer finger on your other hand, I want you to draw an imaginary line from the gray spots to the green spot. 
on your palm and repeat after me. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. Imagine the worry on your gray spot, your anxiety spot, is traveling to the green spot, your peaceful spot, and becoming calm. See you. Now for the second part. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. Imagine yourself blowing the worry off your gray spots. Now all you can see is a calm green spot. Taking slow deep breaths is a great way to calm your anxiety spot. Now that is not, yeah, now that's not near you anymore, it can't make you worry. Okay, now that you have learned a way to calm your anxiety spot down, let's try it in situations where your anxiety spot surprises you. Like the first day of school, being away from your parents or guardian can make you scared and anxious. Or meeting new people can make you worried that you won't fit in. This is the perfect time to practice this little trick. What if I don't fit in? What if you don't come back? From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. I can do this. I will see you later. Or when you show up to a party and your anxiety spot came with you. What if they don't like me? Sometimes it's hard to be around new people. But don't worry. Oh wait, but worrying only makes your anxiety spot grow. Instead, Practice our little trick. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and throw it away. Blow it away, actually. You can throw it away, too. I can do this. This party is fun. The more times you can shrink your anxiety spot down, the stronger your peaceful spot becomes. Celebrate when you're able to shrink down your anxiety spot. Use that confidence to help you in new situations when your anxiety spot shows up. If you need some help, just remember our little trick. So see, they're remembering a time that they helped their anxiety spot go away. Remember their trick. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this. I can be calm. They grew too, the worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. Isn't that a really like fun little tool that you can use when you're feeling anxious or you're feeling worried. Um, I really like it actually. And it's even one that you can use when you're in your quiet, safe place and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're needing to calm yourself down. Or if you're just like sitting at the dinner table or you're at a grocery store or you're just sitting at home and you're starting to feel anxious or worried. You could be even laying in bed. And it's so great to remember that, you know, there are times where our anxiety spot gets really big and our peaceful spot looks tiny, like it's just barely existing at the palm of our hand. And our anxiety spot has gotten so big, it's taken over the majority of us. But it's really important to remember that you control it. You have the control to move that anxiety spot. 
into your peaceful spot and to remind yourself that you are able to simply blow it out of your life in a way. It is okay to feel anxiety. In fact, like the book says, oftentimes little spurts of anxiety help to protect us. You know, even just yesterday, I felt some anxiety before I did a training for some parents on Zoom. I felt that um, my internet might crash. I worried that I wouldn't remember something to share with them. And those little bits of anxiety are okay because it helps me actually like prepare a little bit more. And I went to a place where I knew I would have internet. I went to, I um, made sure I wrote everything down that I wanted to say. And so it kind of protected me a little bit. But um, what I didn't do was I didn't let my anxiety take over to the point where I just didn't want to do it, where I just gave up and quit. And that is when you want to use things like this. That's when you want to take out your toolbox and use a tool and go to your quiet, safe place or use your taking time tool if you need to. But when your anxiety prevents you from doing things that you want to do or that you should or can be doing, that is when you've let your anxiety spot take over and you need to name it to tame it. You need to say out loud, I feel nervous, I feel anxiety, and you need to use a tool or a strategy to help you. So I'll show you just one more time what their strategy is. And I'll include um, their um, little phrasing here. I think it's really cute what they do. I'll include it in the Parent Square message so that you guys can practice it if you want to. But what you want to do is you really want to imagine, and maybe look at your hand right now. Imagine that you're feeling really anxious. Maybe your chest feels tight. Maybe your heart is pounding. And I want you to look at your hand and put the anxiety on the tips of your fingers. Those are your anxiety spots, your worry spots. You've got five gray spots on the tips of your fingers. And then you've got your one little peaceful spot, just right there. It's definitely not feeling very big and very powerful, but it's there. I want you to take your pointer finger, grab that gray spot, and I want you to drag it in towards the peaceful. Grab the next one, drag it in. And as you do that, you say from the tips of my fingers to the middle of my palm, I can do this. I can be calm from the tips of my fingers to the middle of my palm. I can do this. I can be calm. And then you imagine that all the gray is there right now. But hey, that anxiety spot got way too big. It's covering my peaceful spot. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. Sometimes it takes me a couple to blow away my anxiety spot because it's really strong sometimes. But I take a few deep breaths. I'm going to take one more. I think I need one more. There it is. Now I see my green spot again. And my peaceful spot is back. It's a really great strategy. I want you guys to practice using it. Why not? It's a fun one. And if you really want to, you can even cut out little gray circles of paper um, and a green one. And you can tape the green one here and just put the green or put the gray ones on your fingers and drag them into the middle and it's going to make a big worry um, anxiety spot and then I want you just to blow it away it's too big and it can't stay it's got to go away okay guys um, I'm gonna call it I didn't do 15 minutes again I'm so sorry maybe tomorrow tomorrow's Friday so I feel confident <laughs> Thanks for reading this book, though, The Little Spot of Anxiety, and um, and just, you know, being thoughtful of how you guys do have control over your anxiety. It's okay that it's there, um, but when it does get too big, you have the power to pull it into your peaceful spot and to make it go away. Um, and also just to listen to it. What is it saying to you? Is it trying to get you to stop? And if it is, I want you to stop it. Um, Okay, guys, let's call it. I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. I'll see you guys for Friday for Fun Free Friday, and we'll do something, I don't know, super fun. Why not? 
Okay guys, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow.